Hi everyone, welcome to Sharon Talks Insurance. This is where we talk insurance matters. In my last video, I talked about the frequently asked questions as per the IRA website, and I got so many concerns on the issue of cancellation. So today, I invited an insurance guru who will help us shed more light on these issues. Welcome, Mr. Madialo. Please introduce yourself to my friend. I'm Jack Madialo, an insurance professional. Welcome. So, Mr. Madialo, could you please explain to a layman what cancellation is? And also after that, maybe you can put it in the insurance context so that we understand better what cancellation is in a layman's language and how they put it in the insurance context. Thank you, Sharon. Sharon, uh, cancellation of an insurance policy. In a layman's language, is basically having a retort over a contract you had entered into. Just as we say, insurance is a social science that deals with social life. In life, there are times somebody approaches you to get into a contract for whatever reason, but later you have a, an aftermind, an afterthought about it, and you rescind or you decide not to take up that decision you would say, I no longer need this. That is what cancellation is. An insurer or an insured may take a policy, but later make a decision that they don't need it. They would, they have the right to say, no, I don't need it. Yeah. In a layman's language, just having an afterthought on a decision you had made about insurance. Now, what is a cancellation of insurance policy in the insurance context? In the insurance context, Cancellation means that the insured or the insurer, for whatever reasons which we are going to get into, decides to put a hold onto the policy contract. That is cancellation, mm. terminating of the contract. Okay. Yes. And what is the process involved in cancellation in the ins of the insurance contract? The process is so short and clear. The termination can be initiated by either party because an insurance policy is a contract between, between two people. Mm -hmm. The insured who has a risk to protect himself against or herself against and the insurer who takes the risk. As you know, our insurance is all about having peace of mind mm -hmm. and protecting your interest. And this interest is a, an interest that is measurable in financial terms and whatever you want sons to lose if there's a loss. Mm. So either party can initiate cancellation, but one, before you cancel, because as, a, as you we are all aware, an, an insurance policy is a contract. It's a binding contract, legally binding contract. So you just don't wake up and say, I no longer need it. Mm. You must give notice. And if the insured, if it is from the insured, the insured must give adequate notice to the insurer that they are no longer interested. Uh, the insurer, if the initiative is from the insurer, they must give an adequate notice to the insured of their intention that they are no longer interested in the contract. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is to give notice of cancellation. Mm -hmm. After giving notice of cancellation, then at the expiry of the period given, the contract stands cancelled. If there's no remedy or remedial measures from either party, if it's from the insured, the insurer must take remedial measures. If it's from the insurer, the insured must take remedial measures as to the reasons given by the insurer why they would want to cancel the policy, which we are going to look at mm. as we progress. Okay. And what are the methods of cancellation? Basically, in insurance, there are three methods of cancellation. The, 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 the common methods are the pro rata basis cancellation, the short rate method cancellation, and the flat rate method cancellation. Could you please explain to us what is the method used mostly by the insurers? The most common uh, method is the pro rata. However, mm. all the, method, the three methods apply. Uh. 
and I will explain the three in uh, details. Okay. In brief. Mm -hmm. The prorata consolation refers to policy termination earlier than its maturity. For reasons we are going to look at, like for life assurance policies, you might have taken a policy for five years, and for one reason or the other, the insurer feels they can no longer continue with the contract. It will be cancelled before the maturity period. For general insurance, which are uh, term insurances, they have over a shorter period, mostly 12 months or one year. Uh, if the policy is cancelled before by the insurer, or even the insured, as we say, before the expiry of the 12 months, then the word pro rata means that there will be a refund because when you terminate a contract, you must also refund the either party must take or get back uh, the value for whatever period they have been at risk for the insurer. For the insured, for the period you are not going, the insurer is not going to be at risk. So pro rata means it will be prorated. There will be payment based on the period that the contract was in force. Mm. So this can either be from the insured or the insurer. Mm. And pro rata and, and the premium paid back is prorated. Mm. Prorated means you only take what uh, is equivalent to what you have been taking up for the period you have been taking it up. For example, if you paid for a whole year and you are terminating the policy at uh, the fifth month, then the insurer is entitled to the premium equivalent to the five months. Mm. And the insured is entitled to get a refund if he had paid all the premium for the seven months that you are not going to get back. Okay. Then we have the short rate cancellation. This, in most cases, comes from the insured. From the insured, from the person who has taken, taken the cover. Insurance. Yes, yeah. it is usually an initiative yeah. from uh, the insured that they no longer need. For example, just an example, because we'll get more reasons later. Mm. Uh, I may take a policy, then I'm like a life assurance, and I'm moving from my country or from Kenya to another country and I'm immigrating. Maybe I've gotten a green card mm. to the US and now I'm moving permanently. I'm not going back to Kenya. Yeah. I have I may say I will no longer be here. I'm terminating my policy. policy. However, and like in the case of Prorata, in a short rate cancellation, the premium refundable to you will not be a hundred percent. Yeah. I, uh, it used to be ten percent less, but that has increased to twenty percent mm. because of administration costs. You know, during the time you are in the, you are covered, there must have been some administration costs. Yeah. Like uh, salaries and wages, those who are handling the policies, mm. uh, documentations. So those you will be given back your premium less a percentage to take care of the administration costs. Just, just to take you back, you gave us an example of a person who had life insurance, yes. not life insurance, a general policy, yes. cancelled after five months. Yes. You said this person is entitled to a seven months refund. Yes. Now in this case, you'll get the seven months refund less 20% for short rate. Yes, for short rate, you'll get the seven months uh, refund less the 20% 20 20 administration costs. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And the administration cost is based on a full year mm. a term. So it will be if you paid 1000 yeah. and you are doing it, uh, you are cancelling at the seventh month, mm. it will be the prorata of seven months yeah. less 20% 20 20%. of the 1000 okay. that was for a whole year. Okay. However, you must note that with the cancellation and refund of premium, mm. whether it is on prorata or short rate, if you will not be entitled to any refund uh, if you have made a claim okay. during the period of the policy. Okay. There will be no refund. Mm. Then the final method is flat cancellation. It takes place when termination occurs on or before the policy start date. There are times, like in life assurance, yeah. mostly, you are given a grace period. Mm. The grace period means you are given time to look at the policy document. Mm. Read it as the insured or the person taking up insurance. Understand what you are being covered for. Like in Kenya today, we have mostly packaged policies. Be it uh, motor vehicle, 
we have so many other benefits, right, other benefits on parking vehicles. We have the loss of use, excess protector, the towing, road rescue, uh, recovery, yeah, road rescue and recoveries. Yeah. Uh, some people, some insurers put the ladies specific package for ladies, like including ladies' bags, ladies, uh, those other items that only ladies use and not men. <laughs> so you find that these are just packages. They are not the common mm. and the standard insurance policies. Mm -hmm. So before you, 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 you take up the insurance, there's a period, a grace period when you are given to make a final decision. That happens in life assurance, yeah. mostly. Even in medical, it should happen and in general, so that you understand what you are taking out mm. for your insurance. Mm. During that period, if you feel that what you are told and what you have been given mm. is uh, not what you are getting, mm. you are allowed to terminate. Uh, in, in as much as the insurer has that opportunity, even the insurers, they will also be looking at what you gave, like uh, in. Uh, Home insurance, homeowners insurance, what we call domestic package. The insurer, the insurer, that is, will be sending out the their surveyors to go and assess the risk more. If they find anything that might make them make up a decision that no, we cannot take up this because just from your proposal, that's not enough. Then they may say no, we are no longer interested in that kind of a risk. If that happens then you are not charged, the insured is not charged for anything. The policy is cancelled and if premiums have been paid, the total premium is refunded. Mm. So those are the methods of cancellation. Yeah, from those methods of cancellations, I have two questions. Yes. One, this period that we talked for flat rate cancellation, yes. there's a period for insurance, for life insurance, how long is the period for life insurance, the period, period that you're given to to decide whether you're going to go ahead with cover or not? Yes, Sharon, and uh, we say life assurance. Life assurance. Yes, uh, because this is, you are assured, you are not being indemnified. Yes, for life assurance. Yes, because life has, is, value, is invaluable. Yeah. Your life is invaluable. You are worth what you feel. Mm. Uh, there is usually the standard policy uh, across the industry and that is worldwide, is 30 days. 30 days. Yeah, the first period is for 30 days. Okay, and how about general pol general insurance? General insurance is a bit tricky, and it will depend mm. on, um, on, 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 on the agreement, the pre-contract agreement between the insured and the insurer. Yeah. Because like motor vehicles, you cannot be given 30 days to make a decision. Because you have to be on cover. You must be on cover. It's a law. It's yes. a rule by the government. Yeah. You cannot be on the road without cover. And then, uh, Sharon, one thing you must also know in general, the tricky part of it, why we cannot talk of a definite time, is because uh, of the human nature. I may only have, I may be having a car that I want to sell the next day. Yeah. Or I'm selling it today. Mm. I come to you for cover. You are giving me, let's say, the 30 days. Mm. The 30 days, I go sell my car, you have given me cover, I've driven it to where it should be sold, then I come back and say I'm no longer interested. <laughs> so, yeah. in general, it's a bit tricky. Mm. We may not give time, but uh, it, it's most common with uh, life. life assurance mm. and, to some extent, medical. Medical. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Maybe you can also tell us the reasons that may lead to cancellation from both the insurer and the insured? There are various reasons. They are not uh, uh, standard, mm. per se. But let's say, because as we said, cancellation can be initiated by either party, the insured or the insurer. Uh, one must have a reason to cancel. Yeah. Let's talk from the insurer's point of view, because they are the people taking the risk. One is non-payment of premium. The Insurance Act, for general, especially the motor, mm. talks of cash and carry. Mm. Uh, are we practicing that? That's a, a question for another day. Uh, when you don't pay your premiums, because the contract is based on a consideration, monetary consideration, mm. which is called a premium. When you don't pay the premium, there's no contract. So if they, you don't pay premiums, the insurer has the liberty to cancel your policy. Change of risk. 
uh, if you make any changes to the risk insured, like let us say a domestic package on buildings, you have indicated that your building will be used for private dwelling, then uh, the insurer finds out that actually it is used as a hotel, it is used as a store for petroleum products, mm. it's used for, so you have changed the nature of the risk, mm. they, uh, they have, they can cancel the policy. Okay. Uh, moral hazard, the Sharon we knew yesterday, whom we were giving cover, <laughs> changes to be someone else. Yeah, you get maybe from the dailies, you're now kidnapping people. <laughs> they started going against the government <laughs> rules and regulations. That's not covered. So if there's a change in your, the moral hazard of the character mm. of the insurer, mm. the insurer has the liberty to cancel the policy. Uh, if there's a government rule, law, that comes into effect, that makes the, 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 the risk that was insured, to be Ill an illegality, then that will not be covered. Like uh, you, the, the homeowners, the domestic package, you must have find, uh, you must have seen that in the recent past, there has been a lot of demolitions. Those that build their property on riparian lands, uh, when it becomes that the government has said this is, and it has it is marked with a red X, that is an illegality, mm. and that one. Will so not those be. properties. They, they can cancel the policies immediately for those properties. Yes. Yeah. Then there is the issue of fraud. Mm. Some people in Ishua for the best seek need of making money. If you, uh, you, you have been uh, involved in fraud, insurance fraud, definitely, and it is prov proven by the insurer, they will cancel your policy. Mm. That also leads to uh, claims. If your claims ratio is so high, also the insurer may, because the insurance companies, who are the insurers, are in business to make profit. <laughs> they must report to their board of directors some profit. So if you are a, a constant, you have 40 accidents in a one year, your premium was only 15,000, your loss ratio is going to 200%, a prudent insurer would cancel such a policy, because you are not, you are not a good uh, contributor to the pool. Yeah. The other reasons is uh, non-disclosure yeah. of material fact. Insurance is hinged on the basis of the hinges of utmost good faith. You are the one who knows what you are insured. The insurance company cannot know in and out the, the, the nitty gritties of what you are insuring. So if you d lie for just for the purpose of getting considerable and favorable, uh, premiums from the insurer and they find out there's non disclosure, then that will be covered. Now, what about the insurer? What might lead an insurer, uh, the insured, sorry, what might lead an insured to make a decision now to cancel a policy? One, from your financial statements and reports, I have taken my cover, you are reporting maybe in. Uh, you are making your reports known in March. And I see that over the last three, four years, all you have been doing is making losses. I think about, because when taking, even maybe, maybe even taking insurance through a broker or, or, or direct, you must look at the uh, 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 financial stability of the insurer. Because that also will indicate whether your claims, you are duly protected and your claims will be paid. Two, if a reinsurance company makes it public that they are no longer taking your business as an insurer, then I will know you are not reinsured. Mm. Your stability is also shaken. Mm. Three, there are some insurance companies that don't pay claims. And these reports are available at the uh, Association of Kenyan Insurers and the, at the Insurance Regulatory Authority. Go get information about this insurance company. Do they have any issues with the insurance, the regulatory body? How many complaints are with the consumer protection body, mm. uh, department of the, of the insurance company? Now, the behavior of the insurer also will indicate there are some insurance companies that for every claim you lodge, there will always be, for every claim you lodge, there will always be an investigation. To them, all claims are suspected. They suspect everything. Mm. Such insurance companies 
and finally uh, an insurer may decide to cancel a policy due to change of financial ability. Maybe I had uh, a policy, I was employed, I'm no longer employed, yeah. my source of income is, or I've even sold the property. The subject matter, matter of insurance. Or so, uh, well, it is damaged. Yeah. yeah. So those are the major reasons for cancellation from either party, though there might be other reasons. Yeah. Yes. So in, when you say the reasons for, when we are talking about the reasons for cancellation yes. from the insurer, yes. yeah, from the insurance company, there is non-payment. Yes. And there's something you mentioned. Yes. Insurance is a cash and carry business. But you get, or you talked about non-payment, cancellation due to non-payment of premium. This, I find these two things contradicting. Because you can't tell me you have to pay to get something, and then you come and tell me again, if you don't pay me, I'm going to cancel your policy. Please explain to us. Yes, Sharon, as I mentioned at the beginning, uh, insurance for social science. And even in social life, day-to-day -day life, you might really use marriage as an example, assuming you are married. Uh, we say that you need to pay dowry before you live with somebody's daughter. But how many people are living together without paying dowry? So what am I saying? It's a mutual understanding. We are not doing business in an island. And there is competition, remember. We have over 52, we have about 52 general insurance companies in Kenya with uh, about 400 insurance brokers and 4,016 about, that is if the 2017 statistics from IRAs to be used, uh, agents, insurance agents, excluding bank insurance, which is also in the agency business. So everybody is competing for one client. And you remember the penetration, uh, insurance penetration in Kenya stands at 3.25 as at 2017. So we are talking about 3.25% divided by all those thousands of intermediaries. So people will come with different ways of doing business. Yes, the law says it's cash and carry, but you, some people give credit. So provided you have agreed on the credit terms, you are on cover, you have taken the risk. So you cannot cancel simply because I have not paid, yet you have told me to pay after 30 days. So you have to give me notice before yes. you cancel because you gave me the cover yourself. Yes. Thank you. So are there any laws, state laws, governing this cancellation clause of the insurance contract? Yes, sure. Uh, insurance, just as any other financial services, because insurance is a financial service that if not governed by the state laws, uh, can lead to a dangerous situation in any country. You remember, or you are aware that uh, insurance companies collect pool funds from so many people to help the unfortunate few. If there is no law governing, then we will be creating pyramids and conmanship uh, in the country. Uh, just as we said that there is the notice, notice period of 30 days, the law gives you the, 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 the leeway to have your own uh, rules. Sorry, yes. notice period of 30 days. 30 days, that is the standard. For, for motor, for general, or for life? or For all insurances. Okay, before you cancel, you have to give a notice. 30 days notice. What about 7 days cancellation notice that I know of? The 7 days, as I was, uh, as I'm, uh, I'm going to explain, yeah. is usually a mutual agreement. Your business relationship, your business rapport between an insurer, an intermediary, and the insured. Some intermediaries, and that is why it is uh, advisable for consumers of insurance to try and use uh, the intermediary. These are the insurance agents, the brokers, and any other intermediary like the bank insurance, because they are the technocrats, and they can actually argue for you very good terms with the insurance because they know what they're doing. So some insurance will accept, even up to 90 days, which is allowed. Uh, notice period, 60 days, 45 days, 15 days, 7 days, or no notice at all. For like example, we say we will not we will not get back to you. If you don't pay premium, we'll never tell you anything. We'll just cancel, go ahead and cancel. So the law governs that. And uh, as you asked, you see, the law, the state law must also govern the premium. You know, Aki. 
uh, Association of Kenya Insurers who uh, their own law, bylaws uh, directs and controls the premium charging. They don't control directly by saying this is what you should pay, but they give an indication. Otherwise, everybody will charge what they want. Uh, uh, company X, maybe let's use the motor insurance. Company X will charge 1% for comprehensive of the value of the vehicle, but will they pay claims? Company B will come and say, we ask, we charge 20%, collect money from you. So there must be regulation as to the premium and even as to the cancellation. Otherwise, somebody may just pick your money and, and give cancel. and decide to cancel, yes, for reasons best known to them. Best known to them. And then they don't, they use any method of cancellation. And you know, if there is a method other than the three we have said, then you are, they, they, they are entitled to keep the, the premium. Yes. So there must be state laws to regulate. Uh, what are the impacts of cancellation? Maybe you can tell us how it affects the insurer and how it affects the insurer. Uh, every act uh, that affects any contract must have an effect. To the insured, there's that exposure. Once a policy is cancelled, you are exposed to risk. Because what is the basic, the basis of insuring? You are protecting yourself against the uh, unknown that might affect your financial position. So when there is cancellation, when the policy is cancelled, you are exposed to risk. And I don't know what happens because most of the time when there is a council, that is when you have an accident, that is when the unfortunate occurs. True, it gives people to lose trustworthiness and creditworthiness in you. Because you will find that from the proposal forms, there is usually a question as to whether any other insurance company has ever declined or cancelled your policy before. Then they go ahead to say, you give the reason. Now, I don't know, if, uh, Sharon, if you would be Christian enough, however saved you are, <laughs> to say that my policy was cancelled because I was fraudulent. <laughs> if you did, if you ever made any fraudulent claim, you cannot say that. You cannot go ahead to say my policy was cancelled because I faked an, an event. There are people who fake events. There are people who burn their own houses. If they don't know, they have the message. There are people who take their cars to grandmothers all the way to Kanyamfua, where they all baragoi, where they know nobody, you know, in this better boat. And then they claim to the insurer effects of cancellation. It reduces the volume of business. Because you may see that I am one client who has several policies. And I give you conditions. You cancel my policy, I cancel all my other policies. Yeah. If you feel you want to cancel my motor policy, cancel my life policy, cancel my other policies you give me. All my friends, I'll tell them, go have your policies cancelled. All the referrals I gave to you, you know, uh, it leads to revenue loss. Uh, it leads to poor image of the company. Because uh, uh, in, in, in marketing we say, do one good thing and only three people will know. Do any wrong thing and over ten people will know it in one second. Yes. Oh, thank you. Just to wrap all this up, I have three burning questions I want to ask you from the explanation you have given me. Yes. First of all, tell me, when you, you, on your, when you cancel your policy and you are entitled to a refund, do you get it in form of a check? or cash, how do you get this money back? Or is it just put in your account? Oh, it depends. But when there is a refund premium, it depends on the method of payment. Nowadays, the, uh, the most common method of payment is direct transfer to your account, a bank account, but uh, or check. But you are entitled to some refund in whatever way. You can even uh, agree and uh, your policy is cancelled and you have other policies to have the money transferred to the other policies. Like if I, it was my motor vehicle insurer that was having a cancellation, the refund premium may be used for my life directly or my personal pension. Yes. Oh, thank you.
And are there rules that may prevent automatic vaccination by the insurer or the insured? Yes. As I say, as we discussed before, if the cancellation is not regulated, if we left it open, then we will be opening a car or an avenue for pyramid schemes from the insurer. We cannot just allow cancellation because they might use this uh, to, to, to punish the consumers of insurance for all their own selfish reasons. Some brokers and intermediaries, sorry to say this, are very cunning. They will tell, because they have an arrangement with the insurance companies, as we discussed, that uh, insurance business is a, on a mutual agreement. We have our own agreements as intermediaries. Then I tell the insurer to hold covered. Then when I believe that Sharon is a good driver, he'll never have an accident, the, poly, the, the, the period is almost coming to an end, I just write, cancel the police and uh, return and give me for rata return premium for my own selfish gain as an agent so you will be driving because by the time you know that you are not on cover the period has lapsed you have never had an accident so there's no claim to know so uh, there must be a regulation yes. to stop such like then uh, from the insurance point of view Yes, there must be regulation because some of these properties that are is being insured are on uh, financial, uh, some other financial activities. There are some other people with interest. Like if it's a house built on mortgage, the financier has an interest. If it's a car on loan, the financier has an interest. If I was to take a mortgage, then I have the liberty to go and uh, cancel the policy. I would cancel the policy and then burn the house. Who loses? The finance? So there must be regulation. So what happens in this case where you have mortgage? Yes. You have a financial financial interest in your policy. So do the insurance companies ask for a certain form to be filled with the, from the financial in order for them to cancel the policy? What happens? Uh, that is auto it's automated at the point of underwriting. You will find that most proposal forms for general insurance will have a question, a, a section where they ask whether there's an interest, third party interest, in the property. So once that is there and it's noted, when, if the cancellation, as we said, is coming from the insurer's point of view, then they must notify both parties to the, to the, to the policy. Note that in life assurance, uh, the beneficiaries are not allowed, those who are indicated as beneficiaries, of the police of the pro, pro, proceeds from the policy cannot cancel the police whether you are you are named like husband and spouse if i take an education policy and have uh, on my on our children and i've indicated my spouse as the beneficiary they cannot go and cancel that policy they are not allowed but if it's not, it was not regulated you will one, your spouse will wake up one day after a quarrel for whatever reason to go and cancel the police. Yeah. The other question is, the cancellation notice, how is it sent? Is it by email? Do they call? Do they send it to the postal address? That is a, a wonderful question and uh, that needs uh, to be brought to the public. Because nowadays we have several methods or media of communication. However, the standard uh, way of communication is the insurer or whoever is uh, initiating the cancellation should address the cancellation notice to the last known address by registered mail. This does not take care of the fact that nowadays we have emails, WhatsApp, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, whatever, call it Twitter, which are all media of communication. But the standard rule, as it is today, is that you must register or send the notice by registered mail to the last known address of either the insured okay. if it is the insurer or to the insurer if the insurer so the public should keep on updating if they change the postal address they should tell the insurer this is my new my current postal address and they should also check for emails for mails in their addresses sure 
because apart from that just cancellation notice because we don't anticipate cancellation notices you remember we say that one of the reasons of cancellation is a uh, change of risk like now if you change your location you have a life policy with uh, with the insurance x you said you are living in nairobi in uh, in lovington then you have moved to mlango kubwa sorry i don't despise mlango kubwa in my direct and you have not said you are changing chances of you being hammered by robbers in mlango kubwa and in lovington the, the chances are different yeah. so that change of address will also indicate to the insurer whether you are still a risk that they want to take if you are having a, a, a personal accident you have moved to what on zone like somalia you are living in nairobi there is that change they are not only for cancellation but it's important always to notify the insurer of change of address okay. let me ask you Mm. There's a, a mail has been sent to the insured yes. that the, the policy will be cancelled for whatever reasons that the, the insurer has mentioned. The insured has not received the mail and there's a claim. And the insurer, the insurance company already has an intention to cancel or maybe has even cancelled because the period, the 30 days period has, even, has lapsed. Is this claim payable? That is a... A good question, Sharon, and uh, I think most of the consumers in Kenya today must have encountered such cases once in a while. If the accident or the incident leading to the loss occurs within the period, the, the, the notice period, the insurance company will pay and should honor the claim because they gave you 30 days notice, the 30 days have not elapsed. Whether you have received, whether they insured have received or not, does not matter. They are still on risk. Now, the tricky part comes where this notice has been sent, the insured has not received, but the days have lapsed. If you didn't change your contacts, you didn't notify the, 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 the insured, the insurer of your contacts changes, and they still have the original, like most of us, when last you were said, did you go to the post office to receive a letter? But you, there is an address you usually give to people that this is post box. What, what? Oh, yes. And the last time you received any letter from there, you can't tell. If the insurer still has that address, they will post it and register a mail to that address. If the day is lapses, they can, the police can't cancel. If anything happens after the lapse, after the lapse of the period, the claim is not paid or payable. But if anything happens during the time of notice, the claim is paid. So you'll find that most of our insurance companies, the claims people, they use the advantage, they take advantage. Somebody might do a letter and even never send. So when they want to prove they must give you because the law says registered by registered mail. Yes. Not not by email. Because I have several email addresses that I have, that I personally I even never check. Not to buy WhatsApp, because you might have left, like they say left it, the WhatsApp group. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you very much. I hope all your burning questions have been answered after this intensive discussion. If you have any further queries, please don't hesitate to contact me in my social media platforms. I will be sure to answer you back. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button to be notified each and every time I upload this video. Thank you very much and stay tuned for my next video.